All right, Zach, it started. Say hello. Introduce the video for me. I'm busy working. Oh my God. Uh, hello, McAllister and Zach here with the Toasty Bros. Uh, I'm doing a quick DIY video over the loop deck. We got sent to us a while ago and uh, I have not used it since we got to the new office. So I'm gonna try to apply a lot of macros to it and try to get it really set up for editing Toasty Bros content. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, we're gonna cut to some B-roll of getting it installed. All right, so the installation wasn't too hard. Just ran to the website, looked up the model I had. It was pretty easy. I hadn't downloaded it in a while and the thing had changed a bit because it was in beta by the time we had gotten it. So just installed like normal. And then we had one issue where it didn't want to work with Adobe Premiere. Uh, well, not Adobe Premiere, OBS. It did not like OBS. It was forfeiting the ability to install until I closed it. Uh, you can see the little window right here. Okay, got it started up past, you know, the beginning stages recording the OBS. And kind of interesting, they have the setup process over here on the loop deck. So it looks like if I hit skip, there we go, it just launches me through all the stuff. I've used it once before, so I'm just gonna skip those like beginning steps. And now I'm in the interface and we'll go back to uh, desktop footage. So after getting it all set up, I can go in here and select from the, you know, which device I have. I have the Loop Deck Live, and then you can pick what program you're using it for, or, you know, set up independent ones for different programs. You can see all the little functions I have on there. I'm lucky it saved all my ones from earlier. The one in the bottom left I removed was, uh, I recorded it once and it failed to record, so record it again. And so I'm gonna teach you how to make these little icons. If you just wanna drag a setting straight on there, you can do it from the side. Uh, they have a list of all the functions. Some of them are system un unique or like program unique. So you can just go through and pick the one you want. And it's as easy as just dragging it on and dropping it right off. It's up to you. If you wanna make them look the fancy way, you can use Elgato's uh, Stream Deck like key creator. And you can still just save those uh, PNGs and just take them right over to the loop deck live and that's what I've done for all my little icons I have in here I'm making the Lumetri scope one uh, I end up in the ending b-roll using one for an export media button I didn't realize I already had one and I had a mistake with how I recorded so you can see you just name it through the custom uh, action creator you name what action you want to happen and if you just drag that straight in you'll you will not have your uh, custom keycap so what you do is you just go back to hit settings change the icon and obviously choose the one you just made, save that, and then that will be right on your device and you can go ahead and use that. After doing all that, I can now go over to my loop deck and if I tap Premiere, it should open up Premiere. Good thing it's already open. So it'll transfer over to this. And you can see my export media button, tap in that. We'll bring up my export menu. And there I can see the look of my settings and all that and it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this full of all my different editing tools I might need and it'll be good to go.